Amen. Get your Bibles out. Get your car keys and get your Bible out. Amen. Seven more days ago, we owe God some praise, 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 praise. Amen. We're going we're gonna to talk to you about, you've always heard me mention Angelique about avoiding and some of y'all have had this experience this year avoiding that dark place that dark place in your mind that dark place in your life how many of y'all had some dark places this year amen now the fact that you didn't pay OPPD that's is that is that OPPD that's, some, that's something different that's self-inflicted dark place. Amen. But and, and, and the whole purpose of that is, Bo, so that you can avoid depression. Dr. Hoda tell you depression is a dangerous thing. Because it can get so dark in there that it will drain your body, your mind, everything to even try to get out. So when you hear about people who are, Corey, who are suicidal, it's because they couldn't get out of that dark place. Even the actor, uh, who's that who pay, uh, Heath Ledger, who played the, Heath, Heath, who played, he got, he got so into that role, into that dark, he couldn't get out. Combine that with drugs, he could not get out. And say what you want to say about him, he's probably one of the best actors of our time, but he couldn't get out of that dark place. But, so I'm going to counter that. We're going to talk about a good dark place. A man, a good dark place that you want to stay in. So there's a bad dark place, which is depression. A man, at the end of the year, during the holidays, you have to rebuke depression. Amen. If you, if you do not have Look at this man. This is my Elijah. This is, this is the Elijah I remember. This is the Elijah I remember. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now this is, yes, sir. That's who I remember. Come on, give me my hand. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He was a good husband. Amen. Amen. You do not want to get into a dark place in a negative sense and stay there. But there's a good dark place that you want. Get Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Hmm. How many of y'all know that God is a man that he cannot lie? He cannot lie. The rabbi said that Moses wrote Psalm 90 through 100. He wrote a psalm for each blessing that he pronounced. There are those of us who have been in church for a minute where Psalm 90 has saved our life. Psalm 90. I'll start there. Lord, thou has been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. And then verse 3, thou turnest man to destruction and sayest, return ye children of men. I did some studying on that, <laughs> and that is a profound, profound statement or insight into the mind of God. If you look at verse 4, it's for my people that want to be deep before I jump over to 91. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. 
So remember, a thousand years. So when Adam sinned, Adam died at the age, Jessica, of 930. Because when he sinned, he was told that in that day, you would die. And he died in that day. All right? So he died within that thousand year time frame. All right? So then, because of the wickedness of man, as far as your tenure on earth, the brevity of life, it became shortened. Okay? Even down to verse number five. Read that, May. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. So we went from a thousand years and he died in that day because God cannot lie. He died within that day. There's no way in the world he was going to be a thousand and one years of age. He died in that one day. So then we drop down to, I know it doesn't seem that way, but we drop down to verse 5 where it says, they are as a sleep. When you see that, that gives you some insight into the numbers in verse 10. We went from a thousand years down to 70 years. Sin will have an effect on you, won't it? Amen. That sin will have an effect. Uh, a sin demoralizes. Sin subtracts. Uh, Bishop Reed taught us sin. When you in sin, it always costs you something. So we go from a thousand years down to seventy. You say, why that number? So when you see sleep, seventy years to God is as a sleep. Right? So if you're seven years old. This is a very young church, uh, but 70 years of age to God is like a sleep. And you tie it into the 70 years that they were in captivity. To God, it was just sleep. Those of you who've been around here for a minute know that sleep itself is 1 60th of death. Huh? So think about it now. I'm 61 years old. I'll be 62 next month. So I'm eight years away from just what God considers sleep. Right. Does that make sense? Amen. So how many of y'all slept last night? Amen. Uh, well, if you were 70, that's all that would mean to God. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, uh, uh, I'll ask you, how many of y'all slept last night? Amen. So in, uh, in that time period, that was a 70-year stretch in God's mind. Wow. That's how quick life. Somebody thank God. That's why I encourage you to live the best life. Uh, reward yourself. Live holy. Walk with God. Look at the best. Even if you can't afford the best, keep looking. Amen. Right. Invest in yourself. Invest in your career. Your job, because life is short. And you say, what's taking God so long? It's because he does not operate on the same time frame that we operate. My seven, and I'm eight years short. I'll be on the 15th of January. I'll be eight years short of sleep to God. Okay? So drop down to verse. That's for people who want to get deep. So drop down to verse 10. The days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength, they be fourscore years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and so, we fly So away. watch this now. So we go, Brandy, we go from, so if you have three score and ten, which is 70, and by reason of strength, you get an extra ten. All right? So if you cut that in half, if 70 years is asleep, then you're 30. How many of y'all at least 35 years of age? You're getting close to 35. In your 30s. Then you only a nap. Your 35 years is a nap. It ain't even sleep to God. Somebody thank God for his awesomeness. Amen. I saw somebody raise their hand. They passed 35. Amen. But I feel you. I see a couple of y'all like... I'm like, 
Did I say 35 plus? Yeah, you know what? I looked at I said, I saw the hand. I said, I ain't mad at you. Hey Amen. I, I figure if you're gonna if you're gonna stick with the analogy, stick with that one instead of the 70. Hey Amen. I ain't mad at it. But 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 so that should encourage you. This year we down to seven days. You don't have no time to waste. You have no time to wait. Amen. Get rid of toxic people, toxic relationships. You have no time to wait. Toxic relatives, whatever. Life is short. God wants you to live the abundant life in Christ Jesus. Amen. How many of y'all looking forward to a great year? Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to enjoying another great year. My daughter Jessica going to avoid all those old men coming after her. Man, can't you have some young men come after you? Amen. You need to go get a Mom's Mabley album. Huh? She said the only thing an old man can do for her is bring her a message from a young man. Man, all these old men dried up. Withered men. Amen. You're going to have a good year. You're going to avoid them again. Amen. You know that is not the blessing. That is not a blessing. Getting in bed smelling like deep heat. Amen. Verse 12. I'm just messing with y'all. We're about to dismiss. So teach us. Read that, man. Then we'll so, go to verse 91. So teach us. To number our days. To we, number our days. How many of y'all be honest? You wasted some days. Amen. Come on. I didn't say you were wasted on those days. We, how many of y'all? <laughs> Brian, I got to help this church. I don't know who smoked what back in the day. <laughs> so I have to really clarify things. Because they be like, yeah, that's right, Barlow. <laughs> we'll try again. How many of y'all wasted some days this year? Amen. All right? That you can't get back and be honest. It was wasted. You're worried about stuff. How many of y'all worried about stuff that never happened? How many of y'all worried about stuff it did, when it did happen, it was worse than what you worried about? Amen. It says wasted time. Right. Huh? Wasted days that you can't get back. You need to make a bow. This year, Bonnie Raitt has a song. The song, life gets kind of precious when there's less of it to wait. That's why I act the way I don't have time. Amen. I do not make myself readily accessible to every spirit that want to holler at me. Amen. I will not be getting voicemail. Amen. I don't want to hear. My time is short. There's people I need to pour into. There are people I need to undergird and augment. Amen. I don't have time for people who want to drag me down. Amen. And you don't either. Somebody thank the Lord. You don't either have time for people who want to drag you down. That's what Wasted, wasted time, wasted moments, and you can't get them back. May God bless us all with a productive year, a fruitful year. Read it again, verse 12, I'm going to go to 91. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Unto wisdom. Okay, let's talk about the good dark place. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth. He that dwelleth. In the secret place. The word dwelleth, write this down. Y'all be surprised how quick we're going to get out of here. It's going to take y'all an hour to get home anyway, so we're going to make it up in the... He that dwelleth, which means sits down and settles in the secret place of the Most High, read, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. All right, see that shadow of the Almighty? That is the only dark place that's going to profit you. Yes. Is when you are in the shadow okay. of the Almighty. Man. When it's dark, it can be pitch black in that place. Okay? Man. It can be dark. 
It doesn't matter what your doctor says. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. Stay in that dark. That dark place will pull you out of the other negative dark place. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If it's going to be dark, let me be in the shadow of the Almighty. Yeah. I don't want to be dark in my emotions. I don't want to be dark in my love. I don't want to be dark, amen, in any other area because I'm worried. I want to be dark. I want the dark place to be the shadow of the Almighty because that is my defense. Yeah. Yeah. Right? If you had trouble this year, be honest, you remove yourself out of the dark place. Yeah. And then the enemy brought you a false light and made it seem like, oh, you got this covered. And then you ran into things that you didn't think were coming, amen. When you see too much light, which is the enemy giving you a false light to make you think that somehow there is a safe place outside the will of God, that's when you rebuke yourself, amen. That's when you shake yourself. That's when you talk to yourself and say, this cannot be the will of God amen this is the enemy trying to trick my mind let me go back to the shadow of his wing somebody thank God for the shadow let me go back to the place of safety let me go back to the blood covering let me go back to the will of God let me go back to my bones feeling gladness and joy in my heart let me go back to coming in the house of God not under condemnation let me go back to loving and hugging the saints and not avoiding the saints let me go back amen to waiting on God amen and staying in there and holding on to the horns of the altar let me go back to calling somebody not to discuss what's wrong but what's right in my life let me go back amen to calling somebody to magnify the Lord he's been good to you and he's been good to you also hasn't he been a way maker yes he has hasn't he touched your body yes he has amen that is the best place in the world it's where it's dark but God he said these steps the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord God can guard you in that dark place he'll run you smack dab into a blessing he'll run you smack dab into a door that no man can close somebody tell God thank you amen for the shadows Every blessing you receive from the Lord came out of this dark place. The shadows. Oh, you want to do a blessing list? Huh? Who can go back into the reservoir of their mind and thank God for the shadows, amen, of the Almighty? He blessed. How you think this baby got the Berkeley? Amen. She didn't get the Berkeley a stepping outside the will of God. Amen. There's a whole lot of folk here seeing who are not going to Berkeley. We thank God. We got one, two, three. Amen. Oh, oh, thank God. Mary in the shadow. That's why you're going back playing drums in the shadow. That's why God said, I'm going to send, amen, some children to one city who will abide under the shadow. Amen. Somebody thank God for the blessing that the shadow gave you. That's why Satan tried to tempt you to get out of the will of God. Don't sit there and cry about how you attempted. Thank God you got out. Amen. Somebody, amen, express joy. With all the effort, pull it on your heartstrings, pull it on your mind, pull it on your lust. Mosella, somebody is here today. They got victory in the shadow. They might have cried. They might have fell down with tears streaming down their face. But they in the sanctuary right now. Somebody shout hallelujah. The shadow. If it had not been for the Lord that was on our side, that 
false light. Where Satan try to blind you with your own loss. Your, how many of y'all been mad feelings this year? Try to blind you with your feelings. And then try to show you, amen, that there was something better and safer than the will of God. Ain't no way. Being in the will of God is the best place on earth. And if you close out this year, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. You might not have missed a service, but mentally been out of the will of God. Talk to me now. You might have been here every time we opened the door, but you were out of the will of God. But now on the 24th of December, your mind is right. Your spirit is right. Your heart is right. Somebody give God some praise. Amen. Today is what counts. Oh man, thank God for today. No, thank God for today. If you was out of order in March, it don't matter. Today you are in order. If you was out of order this summer, today is what counts. I said we're going to do it one more time. Thank God for right now. I'm in your will right now. My mind is clear right now. My spirit is fresh right now. You, you know why? Satan will beat you up with how you were thinking this summer. Well, you just now got right. Don't matter. We're going to celebrate right now. Amen. Oh, thank God for dwelling. Watch this now. Then he goes on. Somebody made a song out of this, Lana. Someone. <laughs> I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God. Some of y'all in here, will I some of y'all had the experience where outsiders tried to lure you out of the shadow. Called you, text you. A family member just tried to get you out of that protective place in God. Okay? And you ought to thank God if you didn't fall for or if you fell for but you couldn't leave. Right. Uh, let's try that angle. Come on, come on. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Isn't it good to have feet Shy with the preparation of gospel of peace when your mind said go, but your feet said, I'm not participating. Are oh, y'all playing? Hey, amen. Your mind said, go ahead. Your feet said, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, I'm not going. Huh? I had a member. Remember, I was, you know, back on 22nd Street, I was dealing with something. Had to check this spirit. And, and, and so, uh, 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 Linda Turner said she was about to get up and she said not, her legs didn't have any strength and she said that move right there saved her life amen because she was challenging what was in the ark of the covenant the person who did get up end up losing their mind somebody thank God for feet that won't fail you now amen Huh? Feet that won't listen to your mind and start heading to church. Feet that, amen, when your mind said, I'm not going. Your feet said, well, I got an outfit I'm going to put on. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Feet, amen, that get in your car. Amen. Amen. And your feet direct your arms to come to the house of God. Amen. And you look up, you're in the parking lot with a bad attitude because your feet said, we cannot participate with what's going on in your mind. We gonna come in here and protect you. Somebody thank God for the house of God. Amen. The word of God. The men and women of God. Because of your feet. Okay, let's flip it. Look at the people whose feet got them killed this year. Yeah. <laughs> feet got them in trouble. Feet directed them huh, to condemnation. As opposed to your feet that, 
Your feet was talking to each other while your mind was falling apart. Your knee told the other knee, I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> but we're going to stay closed because we're trying to live holy. <laughs> your knee said, we're going to stay closed. <laughs> Every time your mind put the open sign, your knee closed and pulled it down and said, we can't, we staying closed. Amen. Huh? Why? Because I'm always, 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 not opening my legs, I'm always beating my drum. Amen. So my, your, your knee said, no. We are not open for business. Amen. Huh? Isn't that beautiful? You could be sitting there, your knee talking, look at that bad attitude. And we saving their life. Amen. We direct them to the house. You know they need to come to church. You can see your knees talking to each other. People thought they was knocking. They was talking to one another. Huh? Your whole knees was telling each Look at him. Look at her mother. Ain't that pitiful? Ain't that pitiful? We saved their life. And they don't even know. They in here crying and having a bad attitude. Daydreaming. They owe us. Huh? If we were to take them where they wanted to go. Lord have mercy. If we were to take them where they wanted to go. But thank God for the 24th of December. Those same. You know your knees were right. <laughs> led you to the house of God to stay in the will of God so that you could be protected ah, let's close it up amen I know Zoe's hungry she's always hungry verse 4 no no verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence Oh boy, I know I always got somebody. I got to bring the, the love to this. Amen. So y'all hang on now. I get this one because I'm about to go to the love verse. Because some of y'all love love. So, amen. Where are my hankies at? I need a. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should even bring the love out because you may find a mistletoe between now and the morning. <laughs> I don't know, Shaquita. What you think? You're praying? Should I bring the love scripture out? <laughs> bring it out. Huh? Can I bring it out? Bring it out. No, I was going to bring it out anyway. I ain't studying. Yet. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get the spiritual one first. Look at verse 3. <laughs> Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Nonsense. Agitation. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Woo, this is some good stuff, Reed. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Let me explain something to you. In your walk with God this year, with the spirits that came after you, Amen. Some of y'all do not even understand. Do not study demonology. That's what I do. I don't want you getting visitation because then those clothes you don't hang up, you'll start seeing things. All right? Hang your coat up and you won't see nothing no more. All right? But there are demons, amen, that were assigned to destroy your heart and your mind. There were demons. Satan unleashed all kind of demons that try to attach themselves to your emotion to get you out of the will of God, out of the seat of God, because the blessing God has for you is in permanent ink. Amen. But it's a place, a plan, and a position. So the trick is to get you out of position so that you won't receive the blessing. And some of you, amen, did not tell nobody, didn't put it on Facebook, but you've been doing a lot of rebuking the whole year. Amen. 
you rebuke stuff that was on you. Amen. Yes, you came on Tuesday and Wednesday, but there's no church on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Amen. And so you had to dismiss the things that were fighting your mind. If you look into the spiritual world, you would see, amen. That's why Satan don't ever want you to think that you are powerful. But if you would see the collection of demons that you sent back to hell by rebuking them, by not bowing down, by not saying what was on your mind, by not, amen, activating, amen, what was trying to get you to leave God. They fell on the left of you and on the right. There's a collection of demons that failed to deliver you and to say, come on now. There's a collect when your heart was broken, when you couldn't cry anymore, when your tears were streaming down your face. Amen. And demons got excited. Said, I think that's it. I think I got him. I got her. But somebody rebuked her. Amen. There wasn't no choir. There wasn't no Maylee or Dejah. It was just you and your Holy Ghost. Somebody thank God for knowing God for themselves. And you did it. Pastor Barlow wasn't there. Pastor Linda wasn't there. We busy fighting our own demons. Amen. But you was there by yourself rebuking in the name of Jesus. Satan, I rebuke you. There are demons. Amen. That could not deliver you. Somebody shout hallelujah. You got victory in your soul. You can wave the checkered flag. You got a reason to magnify God and praise God. Thousands of demons were slain by you. Thousands of demons could not deliver you. Somebody tell God, thank you. Amen. And God, if you give me strength, I'll fight them again. Amen. Whatever replaced them. Who got victory down in their soul and said, I'll do it all over again. God strengthened me. Look in the spirit and see what failed to do you in. And watch a smile cross your face. Look what failed to deliver you. Hand wrap you. Put a bow. You'll see the bow that's on the ground. Because they're supposed to deliver your soul. So you can forfeit your blessing. Well, devil, you failed. The blessing is still, amen. The blessing is still intact. The blessing cannot be rescinded. Somebody is in the right place. There is a plan for you. There will be provision for you. Do not worry about what it costs when you where you supposed to be. Oh, God said, do not worry about what, even if you don't have the money right now, praise God anyway. Money is coming to you. Amen. Ain't no way in the world you're going to be in the will of God and God is broke. God ain't no Uber driver. God ain't putting in part time nowhere. He is the champion of the world. He's a way maker. He's a provider. Amen. Somebody give him some glory. Amen. He's done it over and over and over again. He's up to the task. His provisions are sure. He's not a man that he can lie. Uh, there's a reason why you stay in the right dark place. There's money in that place. You don't have to count it. You don't have to see it, but it's there. Verse this drop down, I'm about done. I gotta go to the love. I gotta put the love at the end. Mm -hmm. Because, oh no, don't say that. Uh, say it. See? See, everybody love love. The way it's supposed to be is that the man of God that choose you. Not those dogs messaging you. The man of God is supposed to, as much as possible, the priest, the husband, emulate God when it comes to you. Okay? <laughs> so, that's why the same concept 
is found in the love chapter. That's why I try to convince you. I told one of my daughters, hey, the trouble with men is men get tired of women, especially women they've already used, and they want to move on. Okay? You have to understand that about men. All right? Even on Tuesday, you learn if you don't study your husband, it's a waste of time to be married because you have to study and stay in study hall. Okay? Because the help me can't need a help me. Because that throws everything out of order. Because I got one of my great women of God, the young women who are under her wing, she's having them read Revelation chapter 12. Because the Satan hates the male seed. We can't change that. He hates the male seed. And she has young women, uh, all various uh, uh, situations in her house where she shuts it down and she takes her knowledge and she, amen, opens up the Bible, amen, to help them. Isn't that beautiful? She could be jealous of them, but she's not, amen. She tries to undergird them and get them ready for their destiny. Amen. They ask her questions about everything, but she feeds them. Isn't that beautiful? Amen. Be because it's a beautiful thing. Uh, when, 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 when somebody gives you their last name, amen, it's a beautiful thing when you accept the four components of what a help meet is. There is no Bible for the help meet needing a help meet. Amen. I can't change it. All right. And so it's a study hall. Amen. It's a beautiful thing. So the priest. We're not talking about just any raggedy man. We ain't talking about somebody who can't hold no job, ripping and running, indecisive. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Amen. I talked to two of my bureau. Said you wasted all the looks and loving on some pitiful men. And, he let, and yet it left a residue in your spirit that it takes the Holy Ghost to try to get out. Amen. But the way it's supposed to be, which we're going to go to the love chapter and I'm going to drop the mic. It's supposed to be that the comfort you receive of God, uh, the closest, comf closest to that comfort you can receive in the earth is in the shadow of your husband because he's supposed to take care. You are never designed to take care of a man. You are never designed to be a doormat. That's why you go to Lowe's or Home Depot. You'll never see your name on a mat. Amen. It was now I'm helping somebody. It was never designed to be. Amen. But you should be under first. You're under the umbrella of God. Amen. And if that priest is trying to be a man of God, he's trying to emulate God as far as protecting uh, providing for you and being someone you can lean on. Yeah. If you have a man you can't lean on, you might as well be by yourself. Amen. Amen. If you're going to be, man, you can, <laughs> if you have a man you can't lean on, amen, that is not an emulation of God because we lean on God. They make songs about leaning on God, <laughs> leaning on the everlasting Lord. Hey, come on now. You guys, you can lean on. You got to have someone, amen, who's a protector. You're not worried about God missing a heartbeat. You're not worried about God not sending signals up your spinal cord. You're not worried about God doing your white blood work, your white blood cells and red blood cells. Amen. Put your hand over your heart and see how faithful God is. You ain't sitting there missing heartbeat. God is a faithful God. You ain't got to go run down and see what God is doing. God is there when you wake up and when to go to bed. Somebody thank God. God is there regardless of the situation. God is there. You ain't got to text nobody to find God. You can call on him at 1 30 in the morning. You can call on him at 3. Somebody thank God for God. That's why you want a man of God. You want somebody trying to emulate God. Oh, that's too much. Come on. That's a Oh, I'm going to prove it. Yeah. Because why would they take the same shadow? It might take years. But the kind of young man you used to be impressed with, if you can, you won't be impressed with. That slick, got to have everybody, think everybody want them, can't make up their mind, uh, indecisive, 
unsure of himself, everything's a facade, and, and many times he could be a little boy with muscles who's insecure, who builds his resume up, she about to fall out laughing, who builds his resume up based on how many women he's been with, not how, not how many women he's satisfied. Because if that was the case, he would quit a long time ago. Amen. But he bases everything on numbers. Huh? And who I can get over. Man, that is an insecure little boy. You never seen God not knowing whether he wants to make it morning, noon, or night. Amen. Oh, come on. You ain't never seen God unsure of himself. Amen. God is a God that is, amen, decisive and definitive. You ain't never seen the sun and the moon confused. Amen. Matter Oh, come on. Give God some praise. Amen. God is is faithful God is a faithful God and if you want a man of God you want him to be faithful like God amen you ain't got to worry about where God is God is whether you believe him or not amen how many of y'all know God has been a very present help in the time of trouble some people you bore up with will leave you when you get in trouble not God who in here been in trouble and God didn't leave you. Some of y'all in trouble right now. And God. Wow. So watch this. So he's trying to emulate the attributes of God. So it's in the love book. Y'all know what the love book is? Song of Solomon. Yeah. I'm going to end with this. Because some of y'all like, yeah, send me home in love. <laughs> send me home in love. <laughs> Woo, buddy. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the love verse? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, which one? No, not that one. <laughs> I ain't going to No, I'm not reading that one. Y'all got to wait till next year. I read those all through the year. Y'all were still frowning. <laughs> but now y'all wait till next year. Chapter 2. Amen. <laughs> Verse 1. I am the rose of Sharon. Not I am the thorn. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to be married to no thorn. Amen. That's why we're going to get out early because the way you keep house is a thorn. <laughs> so, so, Bashana said, What? <laughs> so, you can't get out early, go clean your house up before guests come over. <laughs> Eve ain't nobody coming over, clean it up anyway. I'm going to work on my wing of the house. Amen. So, it, it, <laughs> Amen. Because that's a thorn. Huh? To have things that should have been discarded laying around. Before they walk out. Amen. Go clean your house up. That's a thorn. <clears throat> Amen. I am the rose of Sharon. I get no amen on that. I took my own amen. I brought it with me. I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. Hmm. As the lily among, see, thorns. See, I was in the Holy Ghost. The lily among thorns. Ain't nobody picking no thorn. You got to be a lily among thorns. Huh? So you could come from a long line of heifers and be sweet as you can be. <laughs> uh, you could come from a long line of women that keep a 38 in the girdle <laughs> and be as peaceful as you can be. Huh? <laughs> you can come from somebody who keep a crack pipe in the sun visor. Huh? Uh -huh. Hey, 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 
cast out back there. A crack pipe in the sun visor. <laughs> and you can... <laughs> Man, the phone bunch of me, y'all dumb folks. I'm staying on this side of the church, man. Y'all like, what he talking about? Crack pipe. <laughs> what <I'm> talking about? <laughs> In a sun box. <laughs> huh? And you can just be like, mm. I can't help my family, but I ain't going out like that. Right. Amen. Amen. Huh? You can, you can come from a long line. Let's talk, let's talk to the men now because I'm fair. Of whoremongers, dusty. <laughs> dusty. <laughs> Anybody know some dusty men? Yeah. Uh huh. Some dusty. Come on, come on, thug. <laughs> come on, come on, thug. Say amen. Some, <laughs> some dusty men. <laughs> amen. And decide you ain't going out like that. <laughs> I come from a dusty brother. <laughs> Amen. Be dusty. <laughs> Any man that leave a woman with three kids, age one, three, and four, is dusty. Amen. And you know what I love about my four foot eleven uh, foot mother? She wiped the dust off her feet. <laughs> Amen. Went to Butler University and was riding around in Butler University in a 1956 Cadillac. Because my grandmother was wild. She was out there. Had a red Cadillac to match her hair. That's 1956. Now, so you know she was, man, off the Richter scale. But my mother got rid of that dusty dude. We never had the dust bowl. That's what he would come by and visit. There was never a dust bowl. All right. Everybody feel better now? All right. Whatever you are, you can be a lily amongst those thorns. Everybody can look back in their family and have an excuse. All right. Some of y'all getting bored. All right. Verse 3. Here's the love verse. As the apple tree among the trees of the wood. Ooh, talk that talk. So is my beloved among the sons. So is my beloved among the sons. Now, women, this is for you to go home with. I sat down under his shadow. Uh-oh. Sat down under his shadow. With great Look delight. at they can't even hear me now. They all in line. Hey? <laughs> That don't mean, <laughs> Chris, this is the fun group, man. I don't even know why y'all came to church. Chris, that don't mean he was a big man. <laughs> he was blocking the sun. He said, I sat down. <laughs> we read it, because some people, they in La La Land. As the apple tree among the trees. As the, the trees apple tree. Of the wood. Mm. So is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under oh, his shadow. I gotta read it real slow now, because I gotta sit down. I sat down under his under sh his shadow. How'd you sit down? With great delight. With great delight. <laughs> huh? You didn't have to worry about he not paying for the shadow. <laughs> the shadow being repossessed. The tree, <laughs> the tree being chopped down. All right? Set down. See, it don't read, Chaz. Come on, Chaz, get the smile out. You're about to have a birthday. It don't read you sat down under the apple tree and was looking up to see if something was going to hit you. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or, or you sat down with sadness. Huh? Or there was no shadow. There was no comfort. There was no ease of mind. Okay? So, so remember, he's trying to emulate God the best he can. That's what you look for. He said, oh man, I forgot that part was in there. <laughs> Back to Psalm 91. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. 
I got that. Did you read it? Man, hold up. No. Psalm 91. No. Psalm 91. <laughs> Man. I'll read it. <laughs> Psalm 91. For he shall give his angels charge. No, no, uh, uh, start at verse 9. Dang. I should have read the whole verse. That was, a, that was a reference. Man, they won't be at church on Wednesday. Man. My lost half my church. Come on, Moses. They should have helped me. Lost half my church. Talking about that's the word I've been looking for all year. <laughs> They've been playing that song the, All I want for Christmas They mean, oh, come on, come on Is you Oh, y'all playing, look, y'all, y'all, is you Go back to verse 9, we gotta finish this up Good grace, that's close call, Lana Because thou hast made the Lord Which <laughs> is my refuge Even the most high Thy habitation Read there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Yes, I can see y'all, I can feel y'all settling down now, yes. <laughs> All right, verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the, a stone. I hope you haven't given your angels so much trouble this year that they're asking for a reassignment. <laughs> Where the angel has already turned in his seven day notice. <laughs> Said, you know what, God? Uh-uh. Okay. Okay. No. No. Yeah. Not another year. <laughs> Amen. Huh? <laughs> angel said, you know what, I... I almost lost it. <laughs> Trying to help them. <laughs> the angel frustrated. Amen. Now I'm not, I'm just saying now. I'm Facebook now. I'm just saying. You know, you know I'm talking about you. When the ain't when there's all kind of messages left for Gabriel and Michael. To where the angel said, I need archangels for this one. This is the craziest human being God ever called. <laughs> hmm? They wake up sinning. They just wake up thinking about sin. Huh? I'm working all times of the night. <laughs> it, just, it just, I don't get a break. Huh? I have no vacation days or nothing. This one takes every waking moment. If they up, they thinking nasty. If they even when they snoring, they snore porn. <laughs> porn. They snore porn. <laughs> Everybody had to be like, how he know? Gabriel and Michael won't even answer my calls no more. Huh? Won't even answer the call. So I need reassignment. Do I have to go back with them? <laughs> that couple, you know, I strained one of my arms holding them back. I had to get between them so many times. Give me somebody who's spiritual. <laughs> but thank God your angels brought you up to this day. Amen. <laughs> Guiding you. Directing you. Getting our planes with you. Amen. 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 Got you to and fro to the job. Amen. 
Amen. When the car hit you, the angel laid out, took the brunt of the hit. Amen. All y'all playing. Amen. Somebody thank God for angel. Huh? Angels that minister to you. Angels that talk to you. Angels that shall say, I want to thank God for the goodness of God. Amen. That's supposed to lead folk to repentance. Uh, anybody know they was out of order, but God was still good. And the angel came and reminded you. Amen. How much God loved you. Somebody thank God for angels. Amen. Reminded you how much God loved you, how he protected you, how he forgave you, how he forgave you, how he forgave you. I want to give you another chance. Oh, somebody thank God for angels. Angels, when you were out of order, didn't tell nobody, but somebody knew because somebody prayed for you. Anybody want to give God some glory for whoever it was? Amen. That the angel dropped your name on their spirit and they called your name out. Oh, that's why you got out of trouble. That's why the bullet whizzed over your head. That's how you escaped. Somebody give God some glory for the angels. Yes. You <laughs> angels that escorted you back to the dark place. Verse 14. Because, oh, it's going to mess you up now. Three to go. Because. Because he has set his love upon me. You ever ask yourself, why you? Why you? Out of your family, why you? What was it about you? Therefore will I deliver him. Read. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Ariel, we're depending on you taking the name of Jesus to Berkeley. Come on, talk to him. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. How many of y'all feel something gonna happen? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, gonna happen. Don't be surprised with a new allegiance to mandate. We got a single man. We got America, they're one. We got a single young woman. It would not surprise me, you heard it first. If God turned Boston into Azusa Street, all his components are there. That's too much power located in the same place for God not to have something on his mind. Amen. That's too much power. Huh? It came out of the same church. It's going to the same place. Amen. It's with the prestigious, talented, anointed people that one of these individuals is going to pull them out and might catch on like wildfire. Somebody thank God. Amen. To be sent. By God to do his bidding, which means money ain't nothing to worry about. Right. Amen. Amen. If one of them have to write you a check on Newberry Street, amen. Somebody thank God. Oh, I know I'm getting ahead of y'all. <laughs> but it's because not your name. Not your name. Not your name. You got his name. Not your name. It's because of the name of the Lord that God has beckoned you. He's beckoned you. He used your talent, your beauty, but he's beckoned you because you carry his name. That's why you don't never want to leave the name. It's impossible to leave the name and stay under the shadow of the Almighty. That's right. Anytime you see somebody who left the name, they're not under the shadow. There's only one shadow. There's not three shadows. Oh, that's too much. All right, read. Let me close out. Because you have known my name. Verse 15. He shall call upon me. Okay, you're going to call on him. But here's the thing. He going to answer. Read. And I will answer Somebody him. thank God for the answer you received. Yeah. Amen. 
Are y'all playing? An answer. Huh? That's why you don't have to hustle after blessings. You have to hustle after blessing. When God wants to change your season, he sends a person. The blessing is always in a place. Is always in a place. God will get you anywhere he wants you to go in 24 hours. The blessing is a place. You hear me tease about Omaha, but I am blessed here. Do not mistake that. Um, because it was a place. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Like my son Stephen, I'm not blessed there. I had to go through there, but I'm in the right place. All right? If I call on him in this place, he will hear me. Huh? If I call on him in Paris, he'll still hear me because I'm coming back to this place. Am I making sense? It's always place, plan, provision. If once you learn that, you will slow your roll and you will watch a man all the enemy, how he tries to do, all the things he tries to do to get you out of your place. He has spent all of seven days. He don't care about no Christmas. He don't care about any year. Folk die on New Year's. Folk die on the first. Amen. He is an equal opportunity destroyer and killer. Somebody thank God for a word. Amen. But if you are that man of God, that woman of God, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You can call on him right now and he will hear you. That's the place in Christ Jesus you want to stay. Yes. And you can have fun. I don't know about the center group, but you can have fun doing it. <laughs> it's the fun group over here. Y'all didn't get nothing for Christmas? <laughs> Man, I have fun doing it. Amen. <laughs> Every time I see a male man and it's cold outside, I be like, thank you, Jesus. I go into worship. Right. I used to do that. I used to get cussed out. Where my mama check? <laughs> do that no more. <laughs> no, where my mama check? Your kids should come and approach me talking about where my mama check. Every time I see a male man, I go immediately into praise. God's been good to me. Amen. Uh, all right, no, I, I can do that by myself. I will be with him in trouble. Is that good to know? Yes, Lord. I will deliver him and Amen. honor him. Amen. Wow, look at verse 16. With long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Life longer than what it would have been if you would have got outside that shadow. Amen. You ought to thank God for your life. Amen. You ought to thank God and live this life to the fullest. Yes, God. You ought to wake up switching. You ought to, not if you're a man, though. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh, no, hold up. Let me, let me find reverse. If you're a woman, you should wake up switching. You so happy. Amen. Huh? Right. If you're a man, who's, who's oh, Dr. Ho, you got a little age on you. Remember? It was a fearless fly. Remember we used to have, see now your, your cartoons is even jacked up. Back when cartoons were pure, <laughs> we had fearless fly. And fearless fly, I was like, was, no, fearless fly. Who the one, when he lost his glasses, his voice changed. Mike Tyson, man, shut up. <laughs> See, she's in the center. I knew something was wrong. We had this car. See, these, these are babies right here. So, when he lost his glasses, <laughs> he talked like this. And he would say, where's my glasses? <laughs> he put his glasses on. Here I come to save the day. <laughs> 
We need some. Was that Monty Mouse? Yeah. Nobody had a number there? Monty Mouse? He had glasses? No, Monty Mouse was here a couple My glasses? <laughs> my glasses? <laughs> Fearless fighting my glasses? <laughs> I need men to wake up. Here I come to Walmart to save the day. Here I come. <laughs> I don't need no man dragging. Time out my glasses. <laughs> and I don't need no women like Crazy Cat and Ignat. Little bitty mouse with a big woman. Y'all need to leave a little mousy men alone. A little bitty mouse. <laughs> he had this big woman. He had little skinny arms. And he was, a, he was abusive. He would take a brick and wind that little bony arm up. Pow! Bust her upside the head. She go, my little angel with stars and stuff. Put that little bitty mousy man out. <laughs> Bust upside the head, huh? With toxic sayings. I want you single, switching, happy. Find some makeup that lasts, <laughs> huh? Put some white on your teeth, some color in your hair, and get out there and see society. Amen. Amen. No, huh? you a man. You put on, smell good, look good, feel good. Don't be no whoremonger. <laughs> smell good, look good, feel good, and get out there and get some practice these last seven days, cause you gonna grab hold of 2018 and live the best life. Who gonna grab hold of 28? No more excuses. Who going? Now come on, man. Don't leave me out there. I'm going for my dream. Man, come on, man, rap, man, rap. I'm going for my dream. Ain't no time to be pitiful. Don't have time to be sick. Don't have time to be slacking. I'm getting back on the field. I'm getting my guard back. I'm getting everything I lost back, and I'm going for it. Because in my clothes, life gets precious when it's less of it to waste. You don't want to grow old and be a pitiful man. It's the worst thing in the world. Because you're a pitiful man, you become a jealous man. You're jealous of any man that had the ability to choose right. Who has self Discipline. People get jealous because they lack the self-discipline to live a fruitful life. And you become jealous. You, make, you, you say things like, she ain't all that. Or you come up with a reason as to why they have what they have. It's this self-discipline. Every head bowed. Your best life.